What the? Seven million. Oh, hi, Mark. Carpet day! Huh? No! Ah! Where, where do I begin? Where do I even begin with this one? All right, you know what? I am not happy about what I just watched. Not happy. Most of the time when I do these bad movie reviews or atrocities, if you guys don't know what a matrocity it is, it is basically movie and atrocity put together or where, however I edit it. Yeah. Look, guys, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I put out a poll on Instagram, and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, do so now because I'm gonna be putting up more polls on movies, bad movies, that I should watch a review. So, I did Game of Death, guys. And... The 1978 version. This was supposed to be Bruce Lee's masterpiece. A little bit of backstory is needed to get why I'm upset about this one. <laughs> And why a lot of people are upset about this one. So, Bruce Lee, when at the time, of, at his peak, was basically directing a film called Game of Death. He was writing and directing it. He shot about 30 minutes of it, of what he was going to do for the fights. And he had to halt the production to do Enter the Dragon here in America. So then his plans were to come back and finish up Game of Death. Well, he died before Enter the Dragon was released publicly, so he did not get to finish his vision. So Holden Harvest still had hold of this footage and they hired another director to finish the project for him. And I gotta say, he did not do a good job doing it. Guys, this had to be the most lazy thing. You know what, not even lazy. This was an embarrassment. It was definitely part of the Bruce exploitation period as we had a lot of movies coming out that had a similar title with Bruce Lee and a lot of people would try to do that to get a quick buck. This is definitely one of those type of movies. They, I don't know. I Let me just give you guys a synopsis of the plot so you guys know where I'm coming from. So basically, I'm using quotations for this Bruce Lee's character. Billy Lowe is basically being hunted down by the syndicate. They try to get off him into the corporation and he refuses. So basically they try to assassinate him, it doesn't work, and he basically tries to get vengeance upon them. That's basically all it is. And I gotta say, this was horrible to watch. Guys, look. Now, there are bad movies that I've done on the channel before. Like, really bad. Ones that I'm just like, Oh, and I got mad at some of them, but there were moments in there where it was just hilariously bad. There are like no moments like that in here for the first man. Most of the reactions I had was just like, oh my god. For example, there are many scenes where they'll use Bruce Lee stock footage as close-ups for the actors that they have playing as him. And they're hilariously bad. Ah, uh, just, you know what, just take, just take a look. Yeah, we, we get stuff like that. And it's just, it's frustrating because you know it's from other movies and you know they're cropping stuff over them and doing all this weird stuff. And they, you look, they're not even trying to hide the actor's face. Like, surely... This is the same person, surely. That and not even the action scenes were really all that impressive. I mean, the stuff that they try to shoot was just not that great. And I was reading some information and did a little bit of research before watching this. And the director didn't like what Bruce shot before. That lets you know that maybe the footage that he did shoot wasn't in the right hands because we don't get to see any of his footage until like the last 15 minutes of the movie. So you have to sit through this whole mess of baloney to get to actual Bruce Lee stuff. And there are moments that I just kind of thought to myself, 
why not just stop it? Why do I have to keep going? But I did, and I'm here now. So obviously you can tell that they're trying to imitate the Bruce Lee, I guess, image with their fight scenes. But here's the thing, Bruce Lee was a very fluid guy. You knew how to move fast, but also made sure to keep it tame for the camera and make it a little bit theatrical, just for effect. This guy is clearly trying to imitate that, but he's so daggone slow, so sloppy, leaves himself very open, and there are multiple moments where he gets his butt handed to him. I'm just kind of like, this is the guy we're supposed to be rooting for in this movie. Why not? You know what? I feel like just ending the review right now, I, I don't want to keep going, but I'm going to keep going because I sat through this and I'm going to do this review. So yes. Then there are other actors that are thrown in there from Bruce's friends list and they just come and make appearances and it's just, it, it really is just exploiting the name. If you guys don't think that's bad enough, they basically took footage from Bruce Lee's funeral and threw it in this movie. They have no shame. There is a moment where Billy Lowe he says no for the last time to the syndicate. They shoot him in the face. And he's supposed to have this funeral that he sets up to make it look like he's dead, but he wants to fake his death. And they use footage from Bruce Lee's actual funeral to achieve that. <sighs> Tricks. Anyways, this is just, I don't know what this is. Can you, like guys, like, Help me out here, explain it to me. If you guys like it, tell me why. Because I'll tell you right now, there's something wrong with you if you do, because this is no good. This is terrible. I don't like it. I'm trying to formulate words. Other than <laughs> just bad. And... <sighs> but that's all this is. Like there's no, if I'm being honest, there's honestly no story. The synopsis I told you is that that's it. That's the story. And then they do a couple of scenes in between. And then they just throw in an action scene. Even the dialogue is terrible. It's just like the villains are... If you're setting up villains for your movie, you got to make them somewhat intimidating. you got to do something with them. This movie does nothing. We get random dialogue with an old man going... <laughs> And stuff like that throughout the entire movie and it's just like I I wonder where their mindset was when they came to writing the script and just doing this in general mercifully the movie ends on a somewhat okay note we actually do get to see the Bruce Lee footage and it's great it, it honestly is great it's great to see the actual Bruce Lee uh, they slow down the footage a little bit to match the actor's slowness but even then he's still moving way faster than any of the action scenes in the movie and it's just great to see Bruce Lee and see those fights. And the music goes great with those fights. Um, if there's another positive about the movie, uh, it's definitely the music done by John Barry. He does a phenomenal job. Probably, you know what, and this is going to be a compliment I don't want to give to this movie. But I will. This movie has the best music in any Bruce Lee movie. I can't believe I just said that. But it does. And some of the action scenes that don't involve the person playing as Bruce Lee are actually half bad. Like, there's a fight between the character Carl Miller and this other guy, I can't remember his name, but it's actually a somewhat okay action scene. It's very well choreographed and it's, it's a fun watch. And the motorcycle scene isn't that bad, except you can clearly tell that they're trying to set it up for the Billy Lowe character to get the motorcycle suit that way when they get to the actual Bruce Lee footage, he's wearing it. Whereas, here's what I would have done, which they did this later on, but they should have just done this in general. They should have just taken that footage, just completed Bruce Lee's notes, just completed the film the way he wanted it, and then just show the footage. Because there's 30 minutes of footage that he shot. They could do a half an hour setting up for that footage, but doing it in the story that he wrote. But they didn't do that. Instead, we just got this piled ape. I don't know guys. Um, I'm never gonna watch this again. The Bruce Lee section, yeah, I'll watch that again. It's fast paced, it's nice, it's Bruce Lee, and the music is nice along with that scene. 
What? I... I'm not willing to sit through this again. This movie actually agitated me really badly. I can't even say a lot more than what I just said now. I'm never gonna watch this again. I'm glad I just rented it. But never gonna buy it, never gonna own it. Bottom line, if you guys wanna check it out for yourself, go ahead, I guess. But, um, we're done. <laughs>